Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to do an example of using specific and latent heat to find the thermal equilibrium point of uh, two objects. So what I've got here is I've got a glass of coke or cola that is 0.2 kilograms and I'm going to put some ice in. I'm going to put um, 0.01 kilograms of ice in there, so 10 grams. And the cola started at 20 degrees C and the ice started at minus 2. And I want to know what the final, once the ice is all melted, what is going to be the lowest temperature of my drink. And I've got the information, I've got the specific heat capacity of cola, the specific heat capacity of ice, the specific heat capacity of water and the latent heat effusion of ice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write what's happening. So what's happening is the cola is going to lose energy, it's going to cool down, and the ice itself is going to heat up. Now, it's really important that you keep this separate. You keep the ice bit and the cola bit separate. Okay. So the cola is going to lose. Let's get a decent pen going. Lose energy but it's going to be staying a liquid the whole way through. So it's going to be MC delta T, okay? But because it's going to be losing energy, it's going to be minus MC delta T, okay? Where the change in temperature is the end minus the start. So in this case, that is going to be my end temperature, which I don't know, minus 20, okay? My ice is going to first of all go from minus two to zero, then it is going to melt, and then it is gonna go from zero to my end temperature, okay? So I'm gonna have three clear stages. I'm gonna have my MC delta T here, I'm gonna have my ML, and I'm going to have my MC delta T there too, where this delta T is going to be my T end minus the zero there. And I know that the energy that this one gained is exactly the same as the energy that this one lost. So, Let's work out a formula to show how much energy that the ice actually gained. So, I know that the ice went from minus 2 to 0. So that's mc delta t. So that's 0.01 times by the specific heat capacity of ice, which is 2108 times by 2. And that is going to be, so 0.01 times by 2108 times by 2 is 42.16 joules, okay? It is now going to melt. So that's going to be ML. So that's 0.01 times by the latent heat effusion of ice, which is 334 times 10 to the 3. And that equals... And then I'm going to be heating up again. I'm going to be um, getting bigger, but I don't know what to this time. But I know I'm going from zero to my end temperature. Okay, so it's going to be MC delta T. So that's going to be MC T end minus zero, which is going to be MC T end. Okay, uh, so that's going to be the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4,200, 5.1, 42. Because I don't know what the same temperature is. So I know in total I have this plus this plus this. So in total, okay, so in total, let's grab a decent pen, I have got 3,000... 
382.16 plus 42t end joules. And that is what I have gained. And I know that's going to be equal to whatever the cola lost. So let's put this on here. lost minus m c delta t remember it's a minus sign because it lost energy so it's going to be minus 0.0, 0 0.2 sorry times 3000 i believe 900 yep times by t and minus 20. Let's get the calculator for this one. So 0 0.2 times by 3,900, so 780 t and minus 20, which equals <coughs> minus 780 t and minus or plus 15600. Zero, zero. So I know that this formula for the energy the cola lost equals that one there. So I know that 33821.16 plus 42t end equals 15600 minus 780t end. And then you can solve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to this side and that to that side. So I'm going to end up with 42 plus 780. So, oops, 780 plus 42. So 822t end equals 15600 minus 3382.16. 12217.84. Therefore, t end is going to equal that number divided by that number, which is going to be 14.86 degrees C. So my ice has cooled down my drink to 14.86 degrees C there. Okay. So this is an example of trying to find that thermal equilibrium temperature. What I've done is I literally, the first thing I did was I wrote what the hell was going on. So I actually wrote that the cola lost energy and the ice did these sections. And then I focused on one bit at a time. So I focused firstly on getting the ice sorted. So I wrote what happened and filled in the information I could. So I knew that the ice here, okay, the ice um, gained energy to go to 20 degrees. I was able to calculate that because I had all the numbers. I was then able to do the melting one too. It was just the last bit I didn't know, okay? Then I wrote the equation for the ice down. Then I did the exact same for the cola. I know, but the important thing here is to know that the cola lost energy. Therefore, you have to stick a minus sign in front of it here. And I wrote the formula out again. And then because I know that the energy one loses is the energy one gains, I end up with two sides of an equation and I was able to solve for this end temperature. Now an exam may do this as a structured piece or may do it in one whole chunk. <coughs> what they are seeing is that you understand, firstly, that the energy that one gains is the energy that the other one loses. And you understand that the end point for both of them is identical. That's what they really want to see. So that there is an example of finding the thermal equilibrium temperature of two objects that are being mixed together.